In this After Effects tutorial, I'll show you how to create this fun and very unique lower third. Okay, the puppies, one more time. Hi guys, my name is Manuel. We'll basically create a rig so that animating the sign afterwards will be pretty easy. Alright, let's get started. First of all, we create a new comp, 800 by 250 pixels this time. We name it Sign. Then we choose the rounded rectangle tool and double click on it. Let's name the new shape background. Just check in, roundness 20, perfect. Then we use the effects and presets window to add a gradient ramp. We set the start and end point of the ramp. Then we choose the start color. I go for a dark blue. The end color, red. And as always, we add lots of RAM scatter to avoid color bending. Next, we add some content, like text. Could be anything though. Scarlet Wood script is available on Adobe Fonts. We roughly center it. That's it for now. We'll add some texture later. We create another new comp, 1920 by 1080 pixels. Name it Title Animation. And we add the sign comp, somewhere to the lower third of the comp. Next, we grab the pen tool and draw four fingers. Oh, let me give you a rough idea of the size. Let's add a guide rectangle. It's around 125 by 110 pixels. We get rid of the fill, add a two pixel stroke width, position it somewhere in the center of the left edge and lock it. Let's zoom in here. We finally grab the pen tool and start here at the edge. And very roughly draw four fingers. Three points around the tips, two points on the left and close it up. We use the selection tool and refine the shape. Like the length, size and shape of the fingers. Then we use the Convert Vertex tool and round the corners. The left side of the hand is like an arc. No stroke and a white fill instead. Awesome! We hide the rectangle and let's name the new shape Fingers. Speaking of awesome. More the puppies again. The lower third we're just creating is unique and takes time. If you need one right now, there's literally 100 options just one click away. You can preview all of them and easily add them to your composition and adjust them. I recently got the 100 lower thirds pack from Sundak Film and use it ever since for my client projects. Make sure to click the link below and check it out. It's also a great way to support my channel, so thanks very much guys. Bye puppies, see ya! Alright, moving on. Let's actually delete the rectangle. We zoom back in here and select the path. We choose the anchor point tool and move the anchor point to the upper left point. Where is it? I need to select the actual layer, of course. And holding control or command while moving it, it should snap to the point of the path. With no layer selected, we use the pen tool and draw the arm like a rectangle thinner towards the top. Adjusting the shape a little bit, let's name the layer arm and move it below the sign comp. We want part of the arm to be behind the sign, so let's move the two shapes further to the right. Let's adjust the arm shape a little more. Next, we use the anchor point tool again while holding control or command. We place the anchor point exactly where the finger's anchor point is. It should snap into place again. We duplicate the finger shape, go to layer, transform and click flip horizontal. Same procedure with the arm. We duplicate the layer and flip it horizontally. Then we select both layers and move them to the right. Let's actually add right and left to the layer names. Then let's rotate the right hand slightly so it looks different from the left one. 
we should go into the arm path property again and place the right upper point exactly where the anchor point is. On the left side, we move the arm down a bit. Rotate the fingers slightly up. Then we go into the arm path property and like on the right side, place the left upper point where the anchor points are. Awesome. We want the sign to be slightly slanted. So let's open the rotation property of the sign and rotate it slightly. Four degrees. Maybe move the right arm further down. Then let's start building the rig. We link the right arm to the right fingers, the left arm to the left fingers. Then we link both finger shapes to the sign comp. So now when we rotate the sign, everything moves along. We want the arms to always point downwards though. Therefore, we open the rotation properties of the arms and set both rotations to zero first of all. Then we open both path properties and realign the shapes. Then we add an expression to the right arm and use the pick whip tool to link it to the rotation of the sign. And here we go. It magically points downwards all the time. Same with the left arm. The problem is, it moves exactly in the wrong direction. So I came up with, we add plus, two times, minus the rotation value, which changes the positive value into a negative one. Now both arms automatically point in the right direction. Awesome! If you like this video so far, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks very much, guys! So we set a position and rotation keyframe at 10 frames. Set the rotation to minus 4 degrees. Then we go to the beginning and move the sign out of the screen. Set the rotation to around 12 degrees or so. We go to 40 frames, set the rotation to 2 degrees. Move the sign slightly to the right. Then we use the Convert Vertex tool to get rid of this BC motion path. At 52 frames, we set the rotation to 36 degrees. And move it back out of the screen. Maybe to the right. Again, we need to get rid of these weird curves. Awesome. Next, we select all keyframes and open the graph editor. Make sure snap is activated and edit speed graph is selected. Then we slow down the beginnings and ends of the in and out animations, the rotation animations and the position animations. Awesome. Let's add some more details to the sign. We select the sign comp and add rough and edges. Order around 9, scale around 250, complexity 5. Awesome. Let's add some texture to the sign. We open the sign comp, select the background layer and add add grain. Intensity 0,5. We want to see the final output, animation, animation speed 0. Then we add turbulent noise. Fractal type, turbulent smooth, noise type, soft linear, contrast 145. We go into transform, scale 600, complexity 10, the opacity of the effect 30%, and we set the blending mode of the effect to add. We duplicate the effect, turbulent sharp this time, contrast 400, we shrink down the scale to 15. Opacity 50% and we invert it. We duplicate it a second time. In transform, we deselect uniform scaling. Scale width 1000, scale height 50. Complexity 5. Opacity 100%. And you probably guessed it one more time. Contrast 450, we open transform, scale with 300 and height 50. Opacity 
So we've added a few different layers of dirt and grain, bigger and smaller particles. The more, the more natural it feels like. Don't forget to check out the 100 lower thirds pack, link in the description. On the left side I've added some videos you might like. Subscribe to my channel on the right side and hit the bell, cause you don't want to miss my next video. Thanks for watching this video, see you in the next one. Bye guys!